watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. We hope everyone out there has been saving up those airfare miles. That's right, because if one trip to the Bahamas is good, Two trips to the Bahamas is going to be better. <laughs> we learned today the Kentucky women's basketball team is also heading south this season. The team is going to be playing in the Baja Mar Hoops Pink Flamingo Championship this Thanksgiving. UK will play Virginia Tech on November 21st and Dayton on November 23rd. Fans can book rooms now at the Grand Hyatt Baja Mar at the tournament rate by visiting BajaMarHoops.com. Tickets will go on sale later this summer. And speaking of the Bahamas, the men's trip is getting closer by the day. Remember, they'll be playing at the Baja Mar Resort beginning on August 8th. Jacob Toppin and Kaysen Wallace met with the media today, and they both talked about that trip and the impact it could have on this year's team. We obviously know like what type of goal I'm talking about. Um, number nine is definitely in there. Uh, that's the biggest goal of it all, and I believe I really truly believe like this team can get us the number nine um, if we dial in, lock in, keep the confidence that we have right now, if we stay together. And I believe this trip to the Bahamas is going to help us a lot because we're starting earlier. So we're going to be able to mesh well. We're going to be able to build that connectivity that we need, um, that chemistry that we need uh, for the season. I feel like it'll show me where I'm really at going against your teammates. Uh, you kind of know what their, you know, their game is, but playing against somebody that you don't know at all, uh, having a game plan and all that, that'll be pretty, that'll be a pretty good adjustment for me. So that's Kaysen Wallace. First time we've really heard from him so far this summer. He's one of just three true freshmen on this roster, along with Chris Livingston and Adu Thiero. Wallace and Livingston are the two rookies expected to play significant minutes right away, and expectations are certainly growing for them this offseason as the pair of McDonald's All-Americans are reportedly turning heads in practice already. Here's what Jacob Toppin had to say about those youngins. Honestly, we have a great group, group of guys um, on and off the court, um, especially on the court. Um, all the freshmen are very mature for their age. Uh, they understand what it's going to take. Um, they understand where they're at. We're at Kentucky, so it takes a lot more than some places, some other places. But um, I'm, I'm seeing them like they're struggling a little bit, but like at the end of the day, they're taking all the feedback in, they're learning, they're observing, and they're getting better every day. He doesn't even look like a freshman. But yeah, these fresh, uh, they're very mature. Uh, and their understanding of what's, what it's going to take. Um, they're taking all the feedback, like I said. They're um, taking it to better themselves and understand what it takes to win. He's going to be a great player. Um, I think he's going to be a really good player. He can shoot the ball very well. He um, uses his body very well. Uh, he's a big big body so he could get downhill, finish through contact. But being able to space the floor and shoot the, uh, shoot the ball is definitely good for him. And his mentality, his attitude is just um, very good. He's a good person um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do. It's always good to hear from the older players talking mm -hmm. about those new guys before we get the chance to really see them out on the court. I did have a chance last summer, I was, or actually it was last December, talking with somebody that was somewhere calling a game with Chris Livingston. They just said, this kid can't miss from the outside. He's a great shooter. And so that's something that I'm keeping my eye on with him, you know, yeah. seeing how well he does live up to those expectations. Certainly. And I really liked what Jacob Toppin had to say about they don't look like freshmen. Yeah. You know, physically, these yes. guys did not come in needing to add 30 pounds and a lot of muscle. Yeah. They look like players who are ready to compete in the SEC. Stay right there. More BBN tonight after this.